talking about what is uh, decomposition and what is the lossless decomposition so in the previous video i have taken some some examples now in this video we are only going to discuss about examples where uh, there are some relations are given and the decomposition of those that relation is given and we want to find whether that decomposition is lossless or not okay so let us see this is the first question we are there giving the relation r a b c d and the functional dependencies which are given are like this a determines b comma b determines c comma c determines d this is the functional dependency is given now they are saying this table is decomposed into it is decomposed into the first relation r1 ab second is r2 bc and third is r3 cd so this relation is decomposed into three tables now they are asking is this decomposition lossless is this decomposition decomposition lossless or not lossless or not okay so let us try to solve this question here they are giving us the decompositions like uh, this complete abc relation abcd relation is broken down into uh, three parts now there are two ways of breaking this relation the first way is i can break this relation like we have ab and the second table can be this is r1 and the second relation can be as you may rx it can be b c and d and further this bcd can be broken down into two relations number 1 is r2 which is bc and then r3 which is cd which is cd okay this is one way of breaking this relation or the second way of breaking this relation is like this we can break the relation r1 abc and second will be rx which is cd further you can break this abc relation like this it is r2 sorry uh, make it like this this is rx and this is r3 right so then this r2 can be broken down like this uh, it is ab so r1 is ab and then we have r2 which is bc so you can see there are two ways of breaking this relation like this okay and when can you say that decomposition is lossless if if only if the decomposition is lossless only if we do r1 uh, you know natural join with r2 natural join with r3 is equal to r okay if this thing happens or you can say r1 natural join with r2 natural join with r3 if this thing happens equal to r then we can say that the relation is lossless okay now you can see here if how can you say see we found that to for a relation to be lossless the common attribute in both the relations should be at least key in one of the table okay so here they are already giving you some functional dependencies like a determines b b determines c and c determines d in the first functional dependency which is a determines b here you can see if you are breaking the relation like this here we have a determines b which is which will be there right and other functional dependencies like b determines c and c determines d will be valid for this table so here the common attribute is b the common attribute is b now if we can break this relation like this then we have to identify that uh, at least b should be a key attribute in at least one of the table so if you check out for this table this b determines d b determines c and c determines d if you take b star sorry a uh, b closure then you are going to get b c d that means you are going to get all the attributes therefore at least in this table this b is a key attribute okay here b is not a key attribute but at least in one of the table the b is a key attribute now further this relation is broken down into two parts and for this there is only one functional dependency which is valid that is b determines c and for this c determines d this functional dependency is valid so here the common attribute is c and c is at least common as a key attribute in at least one of the table therefore this decomposition is also loss less okay so you can see if we decompose this table in in this part then we are going to get a lossless decomposition 
now if you are going to decompose it in this part then you can see in the from the original one what are the functional dependencies which will be valid for this the functional dependencies are a determines b and b determines c and what are the functional dependencies which will be valid for this that is c determines d now the common attribute is c and you can see with in this table in this table c is a key attribute therefore this decomposition is lossless and further if you are going to break this one now for this table we are going to get a determines b as uh, you know functional dependency and for this table b determines c is a functional dependency so the common attribute is b and b is a key attribute in at least one of the table therefore this decomposition is also lossless okay so you can say if we are going to break the above table in these three relations then the decomposition is lossless okay got it now let us take the next example now here they are saying that uh, we have the following relation r a b c d e f g h i and j okay and these are the functional dependencies which are given that is a b determines c a determines d e b determines f f determines g h and d determines i j g determines i j okay these are the fun functional dependencies which are there now the first relation r1 they are giving is it is abc the second relation is r2 which is ade the third relation is r3 which is bef bf sorry bf the fourth relation is r4 which is fgh the fifth relation is r5 which is dij dij right so there may be more than one ways of breaking down these relations but you can see uh we you know uh, we can break uh, this complete relation in two parts from this you can see uh, i can break this complete relation in two parts number one will be containing abc and second relation will be containing you know uh, the key attribute is sorry here in this two cases a is a common attribute okay fine, fine so let me do one thing let me draw it in a chart the relation is r a b c d e f g h i j so there are there will be multiple multiple ways of breaking down to, in, for this relation but we will try to see uh, what is uh, the thing we, we are getting so if we have a b c d e f g h i j so here you can see from these two tables uh, the common attribute is a okay and here then there is no common attribute okay okay fine um, here there is a common attribute which is f and uh, d is a common attribute with this table okay fine okay so th they have broken down these relation into five relation okay so let us do one thing uh, if we uh, we can say that the decomposition is lossless if we can do r1 natural join with r2 and then r3 and th this complete relation natural join with r4 and that natural join with r5 if we can say this then we can say if it is equal to the relation r then we can say the above uh, decomposition is lossless okay so first one uh, you know uh, so i'm just not doing anything i'm just you know uh, making a natural join of all of them okay you can already you already know that natural join is associative so uh, first of all if you do r1 natural join with r2 in r1 and r2 the key attribute the common attribute is a and a is a key attribute in at least this table from this functional dependency a is a key attribute in at least this table therefore this is this decomposition is valid okay next so we are going to get a relation from here and that relation will be having the attributes a b c uh, d and e because r1 is containing the attribute a b c and r2 is containing the attribute a d e so if you are going to do a natural join then we are going to get the attributes a b c d e and the r3 relation is having the attributes as bf uh, okay so they are not having anything in common so if they are not having uh, yes this this has something in common right so that is b is common b is common so this b should be key attribute in at least one of the table but you can see from this given functional dependency you can say b is a key attribute in this table therefore this decomposition is also lossless so from if you are com going to combine these tables then you are going to get the attributes as a b c d e and f right uh, and here we have the relation r4 and r4 is having the attributes which is f g and h so in these two tables f 
is a key a common attribute so f should be a key attribute in at least one of the table so you can see from this functional dependency f is a key attribute in this table therefore this decomposition is also lossless okay so uh, you know so next is uh, if you take after this what are the uh, what are the attributes you are going to get the attributes will be uh, a b c d e f g and h and if you take the relation r5 r5 is attributing the attribute d i n j d i n j so here d is a common attribute so from this functional dependency you can say d is a key attribute in this table therefore this functional dependency is also lossless so if you are going to combine everything you are going to get a table which is a lossless so you can say the above relation is showing a lossless decomposition okay so the next topic is what is dependency preserving decomposition what is dependency preserving decomposition so let us look at that 